So we have uh, one of our good friends, Jeremy Cooper. He's going to be sharing his testimony tonight. So if you guys are, if you could all uh, just kind of keep the conversations down a little bit as we all begin to focus on my brother, Jeremy. Let's hear it for Jeremy. <laughs> Man, praise God. Uh, yeah, they asked me to give my testimony, so uh, I said I would. Um, well, my story's not that interesting, really. <laughs> I'm sorry if it's kind of lame. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, my story actually starts out when I'm a little kid. Uh, when I was a little kid, about eight or nine years old, man, I just used to be all against you know anything to do with God or Christ. Uh, actually, from you know nine to the age of 15, I actually grew up in a Catholic church, a uh, Catholic school that I went to. And uh, ever since then, I've always kind of been bitter. Every Christian I've ever came across when I was then, I was just like, man, why do you believe in this God? You know, why do you believe in Jesus? And, you know, I used to love, I mean, I was a little brat back then. <laughs> I used to just tell them, you know, hey, God's not real. And, you know, you shouldn't believe in this. I mean, why do you believe in this Bible that's written by man? And one day, actually, I came across uh, another, I guess I was, you would call me atheist at that point. I came across another atheist when I first began high school. And I was just like, hey, man, you know, what's your belief? And he was like, man, I'm an atheist. And at that point, you know, I, I wasn't out just to disprove God. I was out to disprove everyone. And at that point, I was like, hey, man, you need to listen to, you need to, listen to this about God. I mean, I've heard this all from Christians and stuff. And we talked, we talked for about an hour. And actually, he ended up coming to Christ. But not him, not just him, but I also came to Christ that day. Uh, and the, the story I would like to give you all, though, is even after I became a Christian, it wasn't easy. Uh, I went through high school, even the first semester of here, I was all about the world. It was all about the flesh for me. Like, God, I, God, I had God in my mind, but I didn't have God in my heart. And this actually, you know, was happened. I struggled with, you know, temptations of the flesh, be it women, be it, you know, drinking, be it smoking. I had, you know, we all go through that temptation in life. And actually, not until recently, February 10th, actually, did I become a Christian. Uh, like, a, uh, in heart, did I become a Christian. And uh, February 10th, I decided, hey, I'm going to check this out. And then February 11th, it was actually a Thursday. I was walking by with my Bible because I was like, man, I'm going to I'm gonna get into God's Word now. And this awkward guy came up to me and said, hey, man, you come to Life 180. And I was like, I was like what's Life 180? He's like, man, it's, it's, it starts like 30 minutes. Why have you a Bible, man? You, aren't you coming? I was like, nah, man. Well, what's your name? And he goes, my name's Clay. <laughs> and, and from then on, man, I was like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll check it out. And it gets even better. The next night, I went to an international food festival, like for the, it was a Chinese New Year at the time. And we ended up hitting a car. <laughs> Clay backed up into a car. And, <laughs> no, 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 this is where it gets good. I knew he was legit at this point. And Life 1A was. Because, you know, instead of hitting that car, he just barely tapped it. Didn't do any damage to it. But, you know, instead of just saying, it'll be okay and drive off, he actually wrote a note, left it there, tried to get in contact with the people. And I just, this really spoke to my heart, actually. Some, such a simple act, uh, you know, that, that he did for me. It was like, man, you know, it's all about it's all about what I do, you know. And if God is great, you know, I should glorify him in everything I do. And actually, and then ever since then, I actually had a Bible verse. <laughs> Sorry, I'm nervous if you can't tell. <laughs> First time I've done this. It's actually James 2.18. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works and I will show you my faith by my works. And ever since then, that's what I've been trying to do. I've been active in Life 180. I've just been trying to, you know glorify God in what I do. I just hope that, you know, anyone who's struggling with this, you don't think you're the only one. God, you know, works so slowly in my life, but he is working. And if y'all need to talk to anyone, I know any of the crew from Life 1A or myself would love to talk to you. Thank you for listening. Hey, I'm Drake, and I'm at the beautiful campus of UAB here in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, today, I'm going to go around and ask people, what are their thoughts on Easter? And I think you'll be surprised at their answers. And keep this in mind, these are tomorrow's leaders today. All right, Lee. How are you? Good, man, it's good to see you. All right, tell me, what's Easter all about? The resurrection of Christ. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Right, do you really believe he rose from the dead? 100%. Okay, and why is that? Because he is the son of God. Okay. I don't have an answer to that because I never got to celebrate Easter really in church. It was just Easter egg hunts, and Easter bunny never really visited me with any gifts. 
So. Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, only reason I know what day Easter is is because people will tell me when it gets around the time, but I'm not really sure what Easter is about. Uh, Easter really, all I know about Easter is my grandma always told me about Jesus rising again, whatever, but as far as it goes, I really don't know too much about it. I like Easter, man. I love the religious aspect and the family aspect, personally. I love being able to sit down, go home for a weekend, have some good. Easter Sunday grub. Yeah. Sit there and hang out, man. Go to, go to church on Sunday. Right on. Learn about the Lord. It's a good old day. Easter, like, I'm not really big against it because I'm Buddhist, so I don't, I don't do that religious thing, but I, it's like a big family time. Just go home and hang out with the families. Like, do a little Easter time with my family. Just have fun. Uh, I'm not very religious, so I really don't care too much for Easter, but I'm going to go hang out with my dad and some of his buddies from college at a river house with his uh, uncle. From a religious aspect, it's really not that big for me. It really wasn't a big family deal, but uh, the candy is probably my favorite deal. I mean, Cadbury eggs and uh, peeps are really good. You only get them one time a year, so it's kind of like Halloween to me. Uh, to me, Easter is whenever Lent is finally over, and this year I gave up sweets and fried foods, so I'm going to divulge in that and pick out on that. So that's mainly what the big deal for Easter is to me. Well, for me, I'm Christian, so I mean, this is time to celebrate, you know, Jesus and get back to my roots, go see my family, you know, and uh, just celebrate, you know, Christianity with all of them and share it with others. Uh, Easter is about the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, plain and simple. Uh, um, he died for our sins. He took sin upon himself. That the one who was without sin became sin for our sake, and uh, he took that sin to the grave and defeated death. And and on Easter Sunday we celebrate the resurrection of, of that Christ. It's a Christian holiday, kind of just uh, kind of um, in remembrance of uh, kind of the mythical uh, slaying, of, uh, or not slaying, but like the mythical. Um, crucifixion of Christ, kind of. So, I think Easter kind of has lost the original meaning. So it's it's a false holiday now. Um. Well, I believe that Easter is just about the resurrection of Christ. Well, my family was raised Catholic, so the thought about Easter is it's the day that Jesus ascended into heaven after going to hell, right? I think that's what it is. And on that day, well. I think it's probably the day where he came back to Earth after the ascension from hell and then after meeting up with the disciples and all of that. So basically it's just a celebration of Jesus himself. I think it's lost a lot of its religious background. I really don't think a lot of people know a lot about it really, I mean, but um, I don't know. Um, it really doesn't mean anything to me. I. I think it's a big fraud. Okay, so you've heard the diversity of opinions about Easter here on campus. So the question is, what say you? Is it really just a holiday about family, candy, a guy dying? Or did someone really raise from the dead? And if so, what are the implications for your life?